Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be letting my Instagram followers choose what I read for a week. So basically you post two books on your Instagram story and then you do a poll and whichever one gets more votes is what I'm going to pick up and read. So let's just get on into this video. The first set of books, I already know kind of an idea of what I want to do because I was like brainstorming throughout today of like what books I was going to choose. This is one of them, Magnolia Parks. And I really, really, really want to read it. I know it is a lot of people's like number one favorite series. So I've been really, really wanting to see if I like it. So this is definitely one of my options. And I was thinking this is like a romance kind of, but I was thinking I would do like a romance type and then like maybe like a fantasy. So it's kind of like two different genres. I'm also in the mood for fantasy. You know, it's getting into the fall time. So my main two options for this, The Assassin's Blade, which is part of the Throne of Glass series. And I read the first two books and I'm gonna read this one and then Air of Fire, that's the order that I'm reading it in. The next is The Ballad of Never After, but I think I'm gonna save this one. Maybe I'll do it in one of my other polls in this video and I'm gonna do the Assassin's Blade for the poll today. My plan is post these on my Instagram story and then like later tonight, I'm gonna check back in the polls and see which one I'm gonna read and then I'll read a little bit of it as like my right before bed reading. So yeah, I'm just gonna post the picture of this. So it's a little bit later. It's 10.20 right now. I guess which book one? Magnolia Park. Parks, which if I'm being honest, that's the one that I really wanted to win. So I'm very happy to start this I'm so excited, but I'm gonna start it. I'm thinking I actually don't know how long the chapters are But if they're not long chapters, I'll get like two chapters in but if they're long I'll probably just read like one chapter and go to bed and read a lot tomorrow, but here she is. She's so cute But yeah, I'm just gonna read and I probably won't give you updates until maybe a hundred ish pages into it Just to give you like my thoughts and everything So it is update time and if I sound bad it's because I've been sick for the past like two or three days and I'm getting better but still a little sick so ignore that. Honestly it's been a week since I've updated. I'm on page 145 of Magnolia Parks. I've read that much. I've annotated a lot actually. I don't know how to feel about this book though. This book is actually ripping out my heart, stomping on it, putting it back in, ripping it out again, stomping on it. I don't like the way that this book is making me feel. I don't know if I like it. It's really confusing honestly. Like I want to like it. Everyone likes this book or this series and I really want to like it but I'm just not feeling it. I'm not here for it. It's honestly putting me in a slump but that's because I'm reading Keeping 13 and the vibes from from those books are totally different and I want to finish that book but I need to read this one for the video so it's kind of like putting me in a slump and I really don't want to read it which I'm already in a slump I've been in a slump so this is just not helping honestly it's not putting me in it it's carrying on with my reading slump but I just sat down and I was like okay I really need to read this book because I've been putting it off for like a week now and I just need to read it so I read like 50 pages but I'm about to go to bed and I just thought I would give my update. Basically, it's about BJ and Magnolia and they are in love with each other. Like, it's so insane how in love they are with each other and how much they understand each other and read each other. Like, they're just like crazy in love with each other. And then BJ does something to mess it up and I just read that chapter where it explains everything and I was crying. I've cried a lot. I've only read 150 pages, but I've cried a lot. And I just, that's another thing. Like, I just don't want to read a sad book right now and it's making me cry a lot. And I just don't want to feel that right now. But anyways, you're basically seeing them like it starts after they were already broken up and like their little friend group. You see that and how they're still friends and how it says it on the back of the book. He sleeps with a bunch of girls and she dates a bunch of guys to get back at each other and to push each other away because she doesn't want to date him again because she loves him so much that she just can't handle him hurting her again and he just continues to hurt her. Oh, it's insane. I can't. Oh. I just posted on my Instagram story, like, this book is literally killing me. I'm gonna keep reading it, though, even though I really just want to DNF it. It's major Gossip Girl vibes, though. Like, this is literally giving Blair and Chuck. Are you kidding? It's literally Blair and Chuck. And I'm literally watching Gossip Girl for the first time while I'm reading this. Like, I'm on season four right now, I think, and I've just been benching it lately. I literally had to look up fan art about Magnolia because I was just picturing Blair and Chuck the whole time. And I'm just like, this isn't right. Like, it's not good to watch the show and read this at the same time because I'm just picturing them as the show characters. But anyways, that's how I feel about the book so far. Don't really know how I feel. I just don't really like this. Make me feel sad all the time. But I will come back with another update or come back when I'm done. Hopefully I will finish it soon. 
I don't even remember the last time that I filmed. I'm giving you an update. I'm on page 247. I hate this book. I don't want to read anymore. It's just the choices that BJ makes are so annoying and I just don't understand. And I just hate everything that's happening and I hate how it's making me feel. And I just don't want to read something sad right now. Like I don't want to. I'm honestly debating on DNFing this book. It's so annoying because it's it gets so good. Everything's going good and I love it. And then it just breaks. It's happened multiple times already and I'm just a little bit over halfway. If I finish this book, I don't know if I'll read the rest of this series, honestly. I thought I was going to like it more than this. But it's just so hard to like it when they keep making these same mistakes over and over again. It, it's like I don't even want redemption, but at the same time I do. Because you know they're meant for each other, but it's so hard to root for them when you get to a good point and you are rooting for them and then something bad happens again and then you're like oh they just don't need to be together but then they get good again and you're like rooting for them and then it just breaks and i feel the heartbreak for both of them like i am connected to these characters and i feel the heartbreak of when it happens that's why i was crying so much i don't understand and i'm gonna take a little break because it's it's making me like mad and i just want to move on to the next book honestly i think i'm gonna go ahead and post the picture of the next two books on my instagram story maybe like reading this in between another book will help so i'm gonna go pick out those really quick because that might be the only solution because this honestly is like putting me in a worse book slump than i was already in so my choices are the inheritance games young adult i know it, it ends up being like a love triangle between two brothers and this girl gets an inheritance from a guy that she doesn't know which ends up being their brother's grandfather i think and i think that this will just be like a good uplifting young adult book that will counteract the feelings for Magnolia Parks. Second option is The Vow of Never After, and this is the second book to the Once Upon a Broken Heart book. What is this series called? I've been really wanting to read this book recently, and yeah, it's a fantasy, and I really do want to read a fantasy. Plus, the font is so big, and I feel like it's just a good book to read, and I really want to know what happens between these two main characters. So yeah, I'm going to post these on my Instagram story, and I will come back with you whenever one of them is chosen. Hello, so it is a few days later. Honestly, I don't even remember the last time that I filmed. Anyways, the poll has come to a decision. The Inheritance Games won, so this will be the book that I'm reading, and I'm actually excited so i think i'm actually gonna start this right now i wanted to finish this book today but it's literally nighttime and i haven't even started it yet i just don't want to read it all and i haven't done anything since the last time i've talked about magnolia parks anyways i'm gonna start this book and i will come back if i have any updates or what the book is about what i think of it all that day i just got home from school i'm giving you a little update i read like halfway pretty much on page 199 chapter 48 thoughts about this book it is really fast paced it really just gets to the whole story of like her getting the inheritance and like moving in and all these brothers there's four hawthorne brothers you know the whole family is like why did she literally get like all the properties literally billions of dollars from this guy and none of us know why but i'm really like itching to know why because I'm halfway through and I still don't know why but it's like this game it's like this big riddle that they're having to figure out and there's four brothers like I said but only really two of them are like interested but there's one main one that is figuring out like the riddles and the different things because he thinks that this is his grandfather's last riddle that he's making them solve and basically her and that brother are teaming up and it's really cool to see like all these different things of like how things are being put together and it's kind of like a young adult mystery very fast paced very short chapters they're literally Really like two page three page chapters i was shocked whenever i would flip a page and the chapter would already be over like i'm not used to that anymore but i really like this book i definitely want to finish this today i'm pretty sure that i will and yeah that's my thoughts and i'm gonna keep reading i just finished the inheritance games so like basically something gets revealed about why she gets the inheritance and i was like i thought this was gonna be way bigger but then there's like a second part to it and then it just like ends and i'm like uh 
So it definitely makes me want to get the next book. I did really enjoy this. Very fast paced. It was a good like fall read. Because I was reading. I was not reading. I was listening to a playlist that was for like a romance reading. But it was only like instrumentals. No vocals or anything. And I know this isn't really romance. But the vibes were just matching. It was giving like dark academia like fall. And I was just eating it up. I think I'll give this a 4.25 or a 4 stars. One of those two. I enjoyed it. Not a 5 star read though. But it was a good read in general. Honestly, I don't want to read Magnolia Parks. I'm thinking about just DNFing it because I just really don't want to read it And I'm just like not in the like mind space right now to read a book that heartbreaking So I think I'm gonna post another Instagram story thing But I'm going to figure out what my next two options are gonna be and I will come back when I figure that out Okay, so first option imagine me which is the last like big book of the Shadow Me series There's only a novella after this and then I'll have to finish the series I really want to read this because I've been reading this series forever i love this series i love these characters and i really just want to get into a world that i already know like i don't have to start a whole new world a whole new book like i already have these characters and world built and also just really want to get back into it so this is the book that i'm hoping everyone picks the next one is The Darkest Part of the Forest. This is not part of the Cruel Prince series, but it's in the same world as the Cruel Prince series. And I've lately been missing that world. Like, I feel like I took advantage of how good it was when I was reading it. I just, like, blew through that whole trilogy. But this follows Hazel and her brother, Ben. They live where the humans and the folk live side by side, like, together. They dream about this boy in the glass coffin, that he's a prince, and, like, he'll never wake up. But then one day he does, and that's all it says. So I was intrigued, and I know this world and yeah so i'm gonna post these on my story honestly i'm gonna take a break from magnolia parks and read keeping 13 which is not a part of this video but that's what i'll be doing while i'm waiting so yeah i will see you when one of these have been chosen so i finished magnolia parks last night i honestly finished it at school yesterday i wish i finished it at home because the ending made me want to cry so bad also if i look bad right now i just woke up i'm like ready for school right now but i said to tell you guys i finished magnolia parks yesterday what the freak is this book what is this book? This book is devastating. It's heartbreaking the whole time. It's depressing. I am so mad at the couple, but I'm also rooting for them. It's the most confusing book I've ever read. I'm putting on my blue light glasses because I feel like I look really bad right now. Anyways, I gave this a three stars on Goodreads because honestly, I don't know what to rate it because I have such bad feelings about it, but I also have such good feelings about it. Like her writing is so good. I love the way that she wrote. It's so like poetic and you really get attached to these characters and you really feel like you're in their mind and you're feeling what they're feeling which is why whenever it goes so bad you take it so hard because it's like devastating the ending was very unexpected i did not expect that and i'm so mad like i wanted to cry so hard but i was literally in math class so i couldn't anyways i don't know what i rate this i gave it a three because it's like in the middle because honestly i'm in the middle with my feelings but it's been a few days later so my poll on instagram has given me the last final book of this video and i actually got imagine me which i'm so excited about this is what i need i really want to read a fantasy book but like a good fantasy after what the freak this book was like i don't want to read a romance i want to read like a good fantasy because that was just not it so i'm really excited about this i'm gonna read a little bit at school and i will come back with any updates that i have i can't really update a whole bunch about this book because it is deep into the series so spoilers but i will let you guys know how i'm feeling yeah i'll see you then hey guys i want to show you my glasses i got some new blue light glasses and they're so cute i am obsessed with them anyways i am back for a little update for imagine me it has once again been a long time since i've read slash filmed it took like a week or two break this video so long to film i haven't posted in forever but i'm like halfway through page 229 i can't really say what this book is about because it's a part of a series and i will just spoil everything but i will tell you how i'm feeling confused i don't know what is happening like i know what's happening but i just like am confused on why it's happening if that makes sense it's a lot going on and i just feel like there's so many books in the shatter me series and the last two that i've read have been like the plot twist books that i feel like this one i don't know it's just so much is happening in this book for the for it to be the last book you know like it's throwing a lot of stuff in it it's good though like i'm enjoying it i'm just it's definitely not my favorite just because first of all it only has juliet and kenji's point of view in it there's no warner point of view Ooh why why i love warner i need his point of view like and i love kenji but i need warner 
I'm sorry. I'm good with the Kenji novella point of views, but like I need Warner in here. But I'm gonna keep reading. I really wanna get a lot done tonight because I'm ready for this video to be over. So yeah, I'm just gonna see how much I can finish tonight. It's like two days later and I finally finished Imagine Me yesterday. Yeah, I finished it yesterday at school. This book was a lot. A lot happened in this book. I was confused for some of it and there was some cute scenes in it, you know. It, it was a good last book for the Shatter Me series. I know there's still a novella after this, but I really enjoyed this. I ended up giving it like, I'm debating between a four stars and a 4.25 stars. I'm not sure. But that is the end of this video. Here's all the books. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I haven't been posting so much. I'm literally in the worst reading slump and yeah, that's my only excuse is I'm in such a bad reading slump because like I have time to read. I just don't want to and I blame this book i started with this book but hopefully i will start uploading again soon consistently subscribe if you haven't already like this video if you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one bye